can't tell if it's certain. I can't really see the camera from this far. We're on the GoPro today. Last time I did the phone, so let me know if you like GoPro or the phone better. And we're where the magic happens today. We're in the basement where I work out and I also keep my fragrances. Which brings me to today's, today's topic is, people are like, Clayton, why aren't you doing fragrance videos anymore? And I, I think I've said it before, pretty sure I've said it before. I still can't really smell since COVID. So that is the main reason. And just for the sake of this video, I remember, let's get into the fragrance that really brought me into fragrances. This is actually the EDP version, but let's use the EDP version anyway. A big five ounce of this guy, Dolce and Gabbana the one. Can I smell this one anymore? Let's see. Very, very lightly, very lightly I can smell anything. It's kind of like nondescript almost, very lightly. So the problem is, it's, I'm going about seven months now on um, since I had COVID and I still can't really smell. And there doesn't seem, I would say that I have probably about maybe 40% of my smell. I think I think 50% is kind of generous. Like I'm wearing a By Killian's Love today, which I can smell pretty well. This smells, I can still smell, smell this one pretty good, but Say Dolce and Gabbana, can't really smell that. It doesn't seem to be necessarily totally, you know, it's only niche fragrances or it's only design fragrances because other niche, I can't really smell Grand Soir, can't really smell Side Effect, for example. Say Tobacco Vanille, though, I can smell pretty well. So it just, some fragrances I just can't really smell. I would say about 40% maybe smell. And all fragrances are really weaker, right? So that's a big reason why I'm not doing fragrance videos anymore. It's not that I don't like fragrances. I still do, but I uh, can't really fucking smell. I, I gotta look at the camera more, right? But can't really smell, so what are you gonna do? Um, I also, besides can't a lot of stuff I can't smell and it still smells weaker, um, I'm also getting, I forget what it's called, that it starts with a P. Certain things, I'm smelling things that aren't there, which I guess can kind of be a good sign because it means your smell is trying to come back, but two distinct things I, I can tell you that I smell now. One, many fragrances, when I try to smell them, I smell something that smells like a, like you opened up a vacuum cleaner. Open up a vacuum cleaner and you just get some kind of dusty, smoky, musty smell. Something like that. So I get some kind of dusty, vacuum cleaner, musty, not good smell. And I get that smell a lot from fragrances. It doesn't matter which fragrance it is. Well, of course, it does matter which fragrance it is, but many fragrances just smell like that now. I don't really smell the fragrance anymore, which is a bummer. And I also, kind of a gross thing, I can't really smell going to the bathroom anymore. <laughs> so let me try to explain this, right? So, obviously poop has a smell. You go to the bathroom, there, there's a smell, right? Now, this is, this. I, I'm, I'm gonna try to make you laugh, it's so weird, dude. Now, if I'm in a bathroom, and I actually thought when I first started getting this smell, because I have so many health problems, right? I was like, wow, dude, excuse me, if not for the fact that my smell is so bad and all that kind of stuff, and then I know that I lost my smell, I would be worried because it smells really weird when I go to the bathroom. And the thing is too, it's not just like poop or anything either. It's like pee. They smell the same, but they don't smell like poop or pee. It smells kind of like the weirdest kind of example I could give is, do you know, say, God, I don't people are gonna say I'm racist or some bullshit. Like, let's say if some, if you're eating a lot of garlic bread, you can tell, oh man, that person smells like garlic. Say you can tell, you know, someone's eating a lot of curry or something like that. You can tell they, well, they, they're eating a lot of curry. There's like a smell some people have, right? People are gonna be like, you're racist, Clay, stop being racist. <laughs> I'm just saying, you can tell certain people are eating certain kinds of food, right? That's what it smells like. It smells like a, not a poop, not a bathroom smell, but it smells kind of like, almost like a odor. Not quite poo, odor. B.O. kind of odor. It smells kind of weird. 
And I smell it with pee and poop. Again, it's not necessarily a bathroom smell. It's like a step below bathroom smell in between a B.O. You've been eating too much of something kind of smell. It, it's very bizarre. And again, I actually, I, it was actually worrying me. I'm like, oh God, what fucking health problem do I have now? And I was like, oh, my smell sucks. No wonder. And I can even go to the bathroom in public and I'm like, oh, this bathroom, I can smell that smell. All right, it's fucking weird. So anyway, I fucking still, I like fragrances, but you know, at the end of the day, dude, I've said it before, fragrances, they, they cost so much money. It's, it's a petty hobby anyway, so I only have so much money for it in the first place. Um, you know, so at the end of the day, I, I guess I wouldn't die if my smell never got better. It's a bummer. Thankfully, thankfully, some fragrances I can still smell. They just smell weaker, right? You know what I mean? But definitely for sure where I keep all my fragrances over there a lot of stuff I can't even fucking really smell so that's a bummer but hopefully it will come back but as it is it's going about seven months and I still can barely smell shit like I, I was definitely more opt about two months in I thought my smell was coming back and it just kind of like wow it was like it kind of plateaued and it just was little vague very baby incre increments at that so that's why I know fragrance stuff. Can't really smell. And you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of money in the first place. And I was already kind of, you know, even the past few years, I'm sure people have noticed I haven't done as much fragrance wise because I've already smelled so much. I've smelled so many more fragrances than any normal person ever has to smell. So I enjoyed the hobby. And it's funny because I have uh, one person actually wants to send me more fragrances and I keep telling her, dude, I I'm not even gonna be able to smell this, but so and if people are wondering about my taste because of covid i never totally lost my taste from covid my taste just became distorted i would say so certain things it's just a distortion of taste but i never really lost my taste but on that same token the distortion taste that i have never really got better either so that makes me unoptimistic as well anyway remember if you like the videos like sub to the camera share support the channel if you want i appreciate it thanks the end